out there to webosroundup.com and all the new touchpad owners that are out there. Gary here and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and unlock some of the hidden potential in your touchpad. What we're going to show you today is how to enable your touchpad to download homebrew or custom built software. Now um, unlike other devices that are out there where you have to root or jailbreak your device, you don't have to do that with the touchpad. All that you need to do is download two pieces of software, enable what's called developer mode, and you can do everything once you install one piece of software on the touchpad, everything you can do right on the device itself. So let's get started here. The first thing that we need to do on the touchpad itself is enable what's called developer mode. And to do that, we'll just tap the just type bar and you can see that I've already typed it in here once before. This is what you need to type in. It's basically it's the old video game code out there. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. So I'm actually just going to type it again here for you. So up, up. Down, down. left right left right B A and then type out the word start now you can see an icon just popped up here this is the developer mode icon and this is what we want to get into so we're going to go ahead tap the developer mode icon and what that will do is allow us to turn on developer mode. This is what is needed to go ahead and get into other devices like I mentioned they call it rooting or jailbreaking it's really just another level of functionality that is designed into webOS. So we're going to go up here into the right hand corner and turn developer mode on. It's going to ask you for a developer mode password. There is none set direct from the factory. If you'd like to put one in you can do so now I'm not going to do that, so all I have to do at this point, hit submit, it'll take a few moments to process through, and I'm going to swipe up to minimize, up again to go ahead and dismiss that card. Now one thing I like to do when I'm setting up a new device, and on the phones, it'll ask you to do this automatically. The tablet's a little bit different. I like to do a power cycle, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my power button here. You know, prompt me airplane mode, shut down or cancel. I want to do shut down. It'll go ahead and power down at this point. And while we're going through this here too, just want to let you know, I do have the touchpad here set up in the uh, the HP case that will allow you to go ahead and set it in the mode or the position that you see it here. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to power this back on. And we'll give it its few seconds to go ahead and boot up on here. And for Expedia's sake, we're going to come back right to when it's actually booted up. We're ready to download the piece of software that we need for our computer. If you look at the bottom of the article or in the More Info section here on YouTube, you'll find a link to WebOS Quick Installer. A lot of people also just call it WOSQI. And this is a program made by Jason Robitaille. Excellent, excellent program, and this is what you you will use to initially download the software that we are looking to install called Preware. Preware is basically a program that allows you to install and tweak different portions of your operating system. Uh, you can install what are called patches, which will change the way that WebOS works. Uh, there are themes available out there. There are different applications that you may or may not find in the app catalog. You can also download things that will increase the speed of your processor. So we're going to go ahead and go into WebOS Quick Installer, plug in our touchpad. Now you can notice from here in the upper right hand corner it indicates we have a touchpad plugged in. Now there are three buttons here on the right hand side. The plus button is to go ahead and install what's called an IPK or just a, a software file. You can remove a file and then this next one here allows you to go ahead and browse the different programs that are available. We're going to go ahead and go in here and we're going to select to download applications. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to applications 
and we're going to type in Preware, P-R-E-W-A-R-E. -E. Hit the search, and there it is. Now, right from within here, I can install Preware onto my wife's touchpad. We're going to go ahead and do that. Along with applications, there are a number of different things that you can do within WebOS Quick Installer, from installing patches, kernels, themes, other software, and more. There's a lot you can do within here. You will absolutely want to play around with the different settings within WebOS Quick Installer. Now from our main screen here, I can either type, start typing Preware and just type, or I can flick up from the bezel, and there's Preware. It's going to go ahead and go through the initial startup for me. Initially, there will normally be a splash screen telling you all the updates and things that have gone on in Preware. I've actually gone into Preware once before, so that splash screen is gone. This is your initial screen that you'll see. Available packages, these are the different things you can download. Installed packages, that's what's already installed on your device. And list of everything, it'll show you everything that you have available to you, either installed or not. We're going to do a couple tweaks here before we dive further into Preware. And to do that, we're going to hit the Preware button up top. We're going to go to our Preferences tab. Now for me, for theme, you have four different themes you can, inst uh, you can utilize. Either the default, which is what we have here, Palm Dark, which gives it a black look, the App Catalog Blue, or App Catalog Green. I'm particularly partial to the App Catalog Blue, so we're going to go ahead and apply that right there. From here, what we're going to do is we can also set how often it updates a feed every launch. That's what I normally do. It'll indicate the last time your feeds were updated. Scan unknown packages. That's basically if there's something you've installed and Preware doesn't recognize it, it'll try to figure out what it is. Check your IPK association. IPK is the extension that uh, WebOS applications use. Uh, you can avoid WebOS bugs. This may or may not work with future versions of WebOS. Main scene, you can show available types, and I always like setting this to yes, because from here it breaks it out to I can see applications, themes, patches, and other types. I don't generally have the themes enabled on here, um, just not a theme person myself. And now I can go ahead and I can search, uh, decide if I want to search descriptions or not, how I want things sorted, second line, if an installed application is available. What's nice, by checking no, if you already have something installed, it's not going to pop up in the list. That's really personal preferences. Uh, I don't like having stuff that I already have installed show up. I can just go ahead and view the uh, uh, list everything window. I can also blacklist certain um, devs if I wish to. So from here I'm going to hit the back arrow. And now you can see my uh, main window has expanded out where I can view applications patches, available other, install packages, or list of everything. Now patching is something that will really help enhance your performance on WebOS, especially on the touchpad here. So what I'm going to do is we can break it down to app launcher, browser, email messaging. And there's a number of different options here. I'm going to just select all because there's a number of them that I'm going to go ahead and install. Uh, one of them that I like is this unhide developer mode icon the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start that we typed in in the beginning, I would have to type that in every time if I'd want to go ahead and turn dev mode on or off. Well, by unhiding that, it'll make it that it'll always show it in the app launcher. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Now here, once you install a patch, it's going to ask you uh, if you want to restart Luna. Now Luna is basically the the framework that WebOS is built upon. And when you patch WebOS, you need to restart Luna. It doesn't restart the whole device, so it's not like you're doing a complete power cycle, so it goes faster. When I'm patching, I generally like to install all my patches at once and do one master Luna restart. It just makes things go a little bit faster. So I'm going to select later. If you're only installing one patch, absolutely go ahead and restart Luna at this time. Some other patches that you're going to want to do or want to utilize, and these will all speed up your overall performance of your touchpad. Unset CFQ IO scheduler. This will remove the CFQ override. One of the things with WebOS, I'm going to install this as I'm talking, is it logs a whole lot of stuff. What we're going to go through right now is we're going to show you a lot of things that you can 
or a lot of patches you can install to remove a lot of that logging. We're going to come down to Faster Card Animation Hyperversion. It just makes your cards come up and go faster. It speeds everything up. So we're going to install that. Now, unlike when you're in the app catalog, you can only install one patch or one piece of software from Preware at a time. That is one difference. Muffle system logging. By default, WebOS tends to log pretty much everything. This patch turns logging down so that it only logs errors or worse. And we're going to install that. Unthrottle download manager. This patch significantly speeds up downloads, specifically over Wi-Fi. Precom stock limited to 64 KB per second downloads. Uh, this patch unthrottles it, so install that. Advanced reset options. This isn't a speed performance thing. Uh, this is more of just a change of how WebOS works. Normally when you power or hold on the power button, it'll just give you that airplane mode, shut down, and cancel option. This is something where when you hold the power button down, options will be airplane mode, lunar restart, device restart, shut down, and cancel. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. And I want to install quiet powered messages. Again, this is another one of those things where it's just turning the levels of your logging down on WebOS. Remove drop packet logging. Again, we're just reducing the amount of logging. Now one thing this will do is if you do have problems and need to contact HP in the future, they will not have a log of everything that may have been going on with your device. So do have that uh, understanding as you're going through and doing this. So for now, these are all of the patches that I'm going to install. I'm going to go back through here. Back. Now, as you notice, I didn't go through and do a Luna restart through any of this. But Preware gives me that option. I'm going to tap that button, and I can go down to Luna Manager. And now I can either rescan. It's basically if there's a bug going on, this will uh, help clean that up a little bit. Um, you can restart Luna, or you can restart Java. We want to do restart Luna. So now that's going to go through. Power cycle, we'll not do a full power cycle, but restart Luna for me. And it'll come up in just a moment. Now we're going to go into our launcher. And you can see our pre-wear icon is down here. There's developer mode. Now here's the thing is, like I say, this is my wife's touchpad. She's got a lot of different apps on here. I want to go through and make it easier for her to find something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Preware again, and there's a really cool application that's in here. I don't know if application is the right way to put it, but a way to go ahead and customize your launcher somewhat. So what we're going to do is go to Available Other, and I don't remember where it is. It's under Linux Application. Yes, it is. So under Linux application, what I want to do is I want to add launcher tabs. And it's actually cool. I just noticed that there's an increased touchpad volume. I'm going to have to install that on mine. So what the add launcher tabs will do for you is add a games and homebrew tab to your touchpad launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Now nothing is going to be automatically added to those launcher pages. And, and this again needs a uh, uh, Luna restart, so we're going to restart that. Nothing is automatically keyed and sent to those pages. I have to tell or, or move the applications myself. And that's going to be really easy to do here once this gets finished restarting. Now you can see we have apps, downloads, favorites, games, homebrew settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take things that are games and put them in there for my wife. So Angry Birds, just tap and hold, drag into games, boop, right there. Go back to Downloads Robotech. We need Bubble Birds, and so on and so forth. As you can see, really simple and easy to do, 
and just enhances the performance. It's a free application pre-wear. It's something you should have absolutely on your touchpad. Now, one final thing on here too that we're going to show you, and I'm going to minimize this while pre-wear is updating the feeds in the background. Talked a little bit about increasing the speed and performance and responsiveness of your touchpad. And we've talked a lot about logs. What you can do is you can also go in here and manually turn down the logging on your touchpad. So what I'm going to do, uh, to do this what you'll need to do is connect it to a phone. So I'm going to connect it to my Pre 2. Okay, and now what it's asking me if I want to allow uh, it to pair to this device, yes allow. And now it's paired to it. Now what I can do is I go into the dial pad and I'm going to hit pound pound L O G S or pound pound five six four seven pound. Hit the send button. It's going to take me to the logging screen. What I can do is I can clear logs and I can change logging level. I can also create logs or quick log create. So I'm going to change logging levels. Set logging to minimal is what I'm going to do. And again, this is going to go ahead and just reduce the amount of information that's logged in the device. Set that to OK. Profile update completed. There you go. So there's some simple steps on how to go ahead and increase the speed, responsiveness, and performance of your touchpad rather basically using Preware and WebOS Quick Install. Don't forget if you do have any comments or questions about anything that you've seen here today or anything WebOS in general, please feel free to visit us at webosroundup.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.